on this episode, we're handheld again because it's gangster. Go watch it at YouTube. What an amazing episode. You, we unveiled like a whole new segment with you. Yeah, yeah. you know, small arm says, SAS for short. Um, get the, the honor, the privilege to uh, ask these fellas some questions today. Yeah, but we had some fucking gangsterness up to... to Three. Got him. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. We gotta keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Trey, take it away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeez. Something else new about this episode is this episode features a break. I thought that was very oh, interesting. Yes, I thought it was. it was kind of refreshing to come you know back what? from the break. I agree with that. Yes. Uh, we oh. talk about you know we got Big Mo on our side. We're creating all these cool things. A lot of ideas. A lot of juice. A lot of dogness in the episode. Yes. Think yes. someone was a heater. This was actually, honestly, I think this might have been one of the most energetic episodes we've ever had. For it's sure. Fucking good. This one's so good. All right, let's roll the show. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is my favorite. Okay. Okay. The Be Like Mike song, inspired by Trayvon's vintage crew neck today. Welcome to the Roundtable Podcast. I'm I'm your boy, Corey G, at Small Arms Danny, at Trey Speed, but not Trey Speed anymore, at Trey D'Air, and the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susack. We're the Roundtable. What's good? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to be like Trey. Well, I'm I'm going to tell you, (laughs) Trey is fucking famous. I don't know if you're aware of this. Trey, can you tell the story about your mom? This oh, is fucking. Yeah, the, oh yeah. This, this yeah, is yeah. Like, I, I, I was saving this because this is probably one of my favorite things I've seen in a while. Yeah, that was, that was an yeah. amazing text. Yeah. Yes, please, please tell yeah. the story. So my mom's it. listening to this right now, so she's probably shout out to Carl. I'm, I'm not telling it right or something. But yeah, yeah. So my mom, she texted me the other night. She said that I was driving home, or she that she was driving home from work, and that she got pulled over, and she was listening to the Roundtable podcast. So good. And you were talking, and the dude recognized your voice basically. He was like, "Is that Corey G?" And he was like, "He was like, yo, I listen to that podcast too. Like I do all Corey's shit." <laughs> and uh, yeah. She, uh, she didn't get a ticket. No, so she, <laughs> so Trey sent the Trey sent the message and and she said, well, that's you know that's my son. son. Yeah, she, and yeah. He, he didn't believe her. her, so she brought out her wallpaper of her phone yeah. and showed a picture. <laughs> so Amazing. good. That's yeah. a new. That's a new yeah. one. Except, my mom said that she that the guy that like the officer was talking to her like she was talking that like, like he was talking to, like someone that like knew a celebrity or something. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. So she felt that. Yeah. That's, that, a- that's gonna change your perception <laughs> forever, <laughs> dude. That's yeah. amazing. Honestly, I just can't wait till that same experience happens with small arms. Oh, that. Oh, that's that's gonna, that's gonna be ultra. He's gonna be like at the grocery store, and somebody's gonna walk by with. I his know shirt these on. arms. I know. Yeah, arms. somebody's gonna walk by with his shirt on and be I like, know these arms. "Small <laughs> arms, Danny." Is that you? <laughs> the, the leader of the arms <laughs> yeah, army? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no free shout-outs. Can I get a shout-out? <laughs> it's, Jeez. It's all happening. It, it, yeah, it will happen. It's it's just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. I'm, be, I'm pumped yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. It's going to be so ridiculous. <laughs> well, what's going to happen is I just Lin- hope I just hope Linda's with me. When oh, that that's happens. what I was going to say. When that shit happens, yeah. when Rachel's around, I fucking love it. Yeah, <laughs> I can also see it now, dude. I've been gassing Trey up. I pushed out the dude, clip in the last. Trey. I've been gassing oh, Trey, man. dude. One of my favorite things right now on NFT Twitter is anyone's like, "Who's uh, who's the best person in crypto?" Blah blah. blah. I'm always tagging gassing Trey now. Boss, man. Someone hey. tweeted out today, "Who's the Kanye of Web 3? Fucking Trey. Trey. And I was and I sent it in the I sent it in our NFT group message yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, listen, the world is not ready for Kanye and Trayvon. <laughs> They're not ready. That's so facts. I can see, I can just see it now. Downtown Columbus, Trey's taking this nice stroll, he's got his ear pods in, someone's gonna point to him and go, <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Trey Trayvon. Trayvon. That's Trey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Speak it into existence. Cole's, Cole's like yes. the ultimate hype man. He is yeah. the ultimate hype man. It's yeah, I'm epic. excited for this bodybuilding show to be like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice transition. So yeah, do you yeah, want to talk about the bodybuilding yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. Talk so, because this comes out in a couple weeks, so I can talk yeah, about. Yeah. So we are getting ready to do um, a powerlifting meet and bodybuilding show in the same weekend, based off when I did the muscle trifecta years ago, which we captured well. But you know, it was like more on Snapchat, and that was kind of early on. So the the original muscle trifecta for you guys that are new to us was I did an Olympic lifting meet on Friday. A bodybuilding show on Saturday, power off the meet on Sunday. It was fucking epic. And a lot of people followed along back then, too. Which yeah. is not fucking easy to do. Like No <laughs> one's ever done it that I'm yeah. aware of. Because so. I was on Snapchat, and like everyone watched your Snapchat. Yeah. Correct. Like the it was yeah. sick. Yeah. And I had uh, an old intern that followed me around. It was super cool. But none of the stuff was really sanctioned but the bodybuilding show. So now it's like in uh, Olympic lifting with my shoulder. I'm done with that noise. But I wanted to go 
do a bodybuilding show that was sanctioned and then a powerlifting meet that was sanctioned in the same weekend and not just me. I wanted to see who could ride with me and the crew so I can prove that it's not just me, it's, you know, a couple of the guys. Mm -hmm. And so we're putting together a documentary. We're going to have a meeting about that today and we're going to capture the whole fucking thing. Bodybuilding shows in Akron, that's first. Powerlifting meets in Dayton, that's second. Um, I'm fucking excited about it. And so Cole is getting excited because... (laughs) He's yeah. like, what? You never been to a bodybuilding show? No, I've never been. Um, you know, I don't think I'm like quite there for the body, but but I'm, it's it's going to open my eyes. It's it might help. inspire me. Are you to, still going to get yeah. greased up or what? What? <laughs> He's still going <laughs> to get still greased, greased, up. greased up. Yeah. yeah, I'm still going to get a pump. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah. be, you know, I'll be in the warm up room, but I'm excited like, to <laughs> one. You know, this is like being like the ultimate the ultimate teammate. This you is are. A, this is a big teammate weekend because I will be also rapping your knees and yeah. doing the same thing for the. You're not just the ga- the graphic gangster. You're the yeah. gangster rapper too. Yeah, I'm just a gangster. Period. Facts. Yeah, I said it yesterday. It just, you know, you know, you, you, if you take away the graphic from graphic gangster, gangster still there. I'm still a gangster. It doesn't matter what it is. Facts. You, you can put you, knees. Yeah, graphics. You can on put the mic. any word, any word in front of ga- in front of gangster. I'm and still it's a gangster. There. Yeah, yep. I, I mean, some things but, are just very true. But at the body at the bodybuilding show, I'm really excited to you know bring my skill set, which is being the <laughs> ultimate hype man, to the bodybuilding yes. scene. So I was talking to you today with all the guys, and I was like, "Hey, I just want to let you guys know while you're while you're up there hitting the lap pose." I'm like, <laughs> "Yep, yep, yeah, there it is, is. Yep. there it is, <laughs> yep." I was gonna say, "What does that actually look like?" <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you just just freestyle it, Cole. Yeah, it's gonna be epic. Like when it comes to you know abdominal and thigh. Hit him with a G. Yeah. Hit him with it. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. whenever yeah. everyone in the 4M crew group message was sending out that, hey, they signed up, and yeah. I'm like, guys, I'm, I'm going to have to set this one out, but I will be there yeah. as the ultimate high man. I was like, think of me as like the holdback coach in football, <laughs> the, the sideline coach. Yeah. It would be even better if you were like incognito, like out of sight or something. Like, yeah. who's, who's, this, who's this person? It's just a voice. It's going to no, be. I'm, it's it's be so good. I'm like, yeah. I'm like yeah. on this, yeah. I'm like on this stage behind the curtain yeah, yeah. no dog. exactly that'd yeah. be fucking amazing <laughs> next oh, is man. tyler galbraith dog yep <laughs> who's, who's all uh, who's all signed up for both uh so I what I, I think which is gone. really cool is gonna be cam being a high school kid because he's already done a bodybuilding show and i don't know that he's done a powerlifting meet but he trains with us now he was with dustin for years so he's you know especially on the younger side kids only like 17 which is awesome uh, then you got tyler galbraith who's never done a bodybuilding show but obviously a good powerlifter and is fucking yoked you got myself who's got the most experience but i've been hurt for the last two years so i'm really super excited about i can feel my muscle coming back right now too because i've been able to lift how i want how i really have been wanting to for the last like four months like shit is like I'm like, oh yeah, I remember, I remember that. Like, I'm still not back there yet, but by the time we compete, I think I will be. Um, and then obviously Zach Matheny, yeah, who yeah. is a fucking unit. Yeah. He's so good. it's like, uh, this will be good for Matheny because he was talking about doing a show. He's done both before, so he's the only other one that's done both, but obviously not on the same weekend. And he ran the organization where him and Treadway ran these shows for for a little while. So him to be able to take part in it. Mm-hmm. So you know, I think like capturing. All of this is really interesting, and shout out to the guys you know down at uh, RPS because you know Mike and Larry are going to move the meet for us, which is fucking epic. So yeah. to have a sanctioned meet on a Sunday is pretty uncommon. Um, but I'm really, I really want to, man, I want to push these guys, and I want to push myself, and I feel like this and capturing it with now the double shooter action we got going on, bro. Can on. you can you talk about like strategy wise compared to like the tri- domination? Factor? Yeah, yeah, fact. world domination. <laughs> Good talk. Yeah, no, yeah, I was thinking, like, fuck more, myself. Yeah, more on like the granular side, as far as like yeah. what you did for the trifecta, yeah. and then you had obviously your big injury, and then you came mm-hmm. back from the injury, and now you're like jacked again. So yeah, like, yeah. what do you? Because uh, obviously, yeah. So obviously, you, you're you know cutting weight, you're you're mm-hmm. dripping down, and then you have to you know blow, blow, blow it up again. So like, why don't you talk about that a little? Yeah, bit? Yeah. So the the format definitely has to be where the body bone shows first because you're going to be dried out for that, right? And then you have to blow it up for the meat. Now normally we have 24 hour weigh in and we have a whole day to eat Arby's and fucking Bob Evans, but that really can't start happening till after pre judging. Mm-hmm. After pre judging, which is when? Which is like 12. Like pre judging will be probably like from 11 to one or two, yeah. and then I'll start that process uh, to eat and stuff like that. But it's like one of those things where there's no way I'll be able to get the same bloat, but it'll be close, and that's where the challenge is. Can I look good enough on? Saturday to win or you know be at the top and then actually perform at an elite level because our whole plan is can we go look yoked out of our fucking minds 
mm-hmm. and then walk on the platform the next day and hit elite numbers. Yeah. And 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 I believe that all of us can. So that's like uh, that's just like super exciting. Like and dude, I'm not gonna lie, it's getting me out of bed. I need you know I feel good and I'm and this is how I felt during the trifecta. I was like I'm about to do some shit other people don't do. Yeah. That's really hard to do in our industry. You know what I mean? Then we're gonna capture with the fucking honestly the greatness is that's here that's here at the office. Like between what Cole can how he can make everything look, how these guys can capture and fucking edit, how me and you can write stuff around it. Like we can actually do this and and let people know like what we're really doing here. So and then with you know some recent things that happened at the gym, like just made a lot of things like real clear for me. Sure. So I mean, dude, I'm a I'm a blaze this motherfucker, bro. I already know it. I feel it. I, I I feel the vibe of what's happening, and I want to be able to showcase what we're really doing here. And obviously, all the businesses are tied in, capturing it, talking about it, the supplements. It's it's an exciting time, man. Yeah. And I just I have a lot of gratitude because I'm just feel like I'm kind of back. Yeah. And that you, that right there is awesome. And you just hit that massive squat. So what are you going <clears throat> after now? Like what's on, I mean, yeah, I know yeah, you yeah. have shit on your mind. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so fifteen forty two is elite. Um, at 181 uh, for, and I don't think that's masters. I think that's just uh, drug free with multiply. So I need to, I need to beat. That would be like really, really big deal for me. And then yeah. I want to squat 700. Fuck that, yeah. that would be fucking epic. It's wet. That it definitely possesses skill to do it. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah for <laughs> nice. sure. On rack no. 700. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be cool. But you know, we'll see. It's all about kind of just I don't know just seeing you know that strategy it'll be it'll be interesting okay so you excited to capture this shit Trey or what yeah I'm I'm really excited to capture it but I'm I'm maybe more excited though to like go back through everything and like put it all together and yeah. like kind of put all the footage that I've like ever captured or Kyle's capture yeah, or Cole yeah. or whoever and like we actually put it together and like something like great though the process is going to be sick and because I experienced it um, with the blueprint stuff mm-hmm. and um, with going through back through old footage, like I think I'm excited to sit with you guys too once we get a strategy and, and help and see what you guys, what your ideas are, everybody's ideas, right? Because everybody has consumed the content this whole time. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to be up in it for the world to go see it. Yeah, they can see it now, but like we're going to make like a real push for everyone to see this. I'm calling all the favors in, bro. All of them. So Fuck yeah. that's, I mean, if we need to go to Cali to get Arnold, we'll go to Cali and get Arnold. I mean, we need to go to Cali and get Mike O'Hearn. We need to fuck whatever we got to do. We're going to do it. We're going to make this bitch fucking real. So it just, Fuck you yeah. know, how long is it going to take? I don't know. But we the first step is capture this stuff leading up. And then we might sign a fucking Netflix series, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fuck yeah. why not? Tyler yeah. is ready, bro. Yeah, Tyler, is. You see Tyler? He, he, he's yeah. ready for his Shout role. out. Shout out, Tyler. No free shout, shout outs. <laughs> no free shout out. No free sh- <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what fucking that's, busted that, the boy says all the time. That took a second. Yeah, 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 yeah you got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, he earned that shout out. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm gassed about it. Yeah. I, I mean, am. this is just like the, we talk about all the time, but like separating yourself, this is the next level this separation. Sure. And the fact that we just literally have the capabilities to all fucking come together and make it's this epic. Why not make something we're super proud of, right? Get a chance to showcase as an athlete why we're different. But then, like, get to show like our skills as yeah. a, as a group, man. Yeah, what once sure. it, once we pull this off, there's there's nothing that's like there's nothing that's it's its own category. It's its own category. Yeah, yeah for sure. I'm trying to be like like on some like next level shit where people are like, damn, they did that. Yeah, damn well, this mean, motherfucker again. Because you know this is how the world works, bro. In business, you get hot. And then you're just working on shit. Then you get hot again. Like we're about to be hot. Yeah, big time. Like it's con- like the momentum <laughs> is here right now. Yeah. So this is just gonna pour fucking gasoline yeah. on it on top of. It. And then you guys get to showcase your skills of what you can really put together. People don't know. Yeah, they're about just, to know though. I just feel like this. This is the year. I even said at the beginning of the year. This is the year where we fucking go next level. For we sure. got Big Mo on our side right Big now. Big Mo, baby. Big Mo is fucking on our shoulder, just you know, chirping You're right. saying right now. He's saying, you, hey, get the ball rolling. You I've guys been are there. seeing people in the community talk about it. Yeah. Like actually saying, yo, I can see the momentum. They can yeah. feel it. Well, and dude, I mean, a lot of this stems with like the, the contest and everything like that. The first of the year, we were like, <clears throat> fucking I was rocking. Fucking, yeah. <clears throat> no, I mean, so. but once again, when you're putting things out into the world to try to make other people better and they can lock onto it, it's yeah. like, and I think. All of us being in it, like you putting your stuff on the blog, you know, Danny doing it, Trey's back lunging again. Like, it's like we're in it. So they feel like these motherfuckers really are in it. And this right here, capturing this will show that like a whole nother level, man. I don't know. I've always wanted a chance uh, to do something like this. So 
I feel like more people need to know what we got going on, you know? For sure. So it's exciting. Yeah. I appreciate the support on just the crazy idea to say, fuck yeah, let's ride. Let's Big go. Time. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, that's real. We're just trying to be fucking dogs in life. We're just trying to do crazy shit. And there's no reason, like, to have a crazy idea and say, we can't do this. We our first, it. our first, the bet, every time we do something awesome, it's because we have a crazy idea and we just fucking somehow make it happen. Yeah, we just make it happen. The promo videos, everything. Yeah, the promo videos down. are, I yeah. mean, yeah, yesterday's promo video was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think about, like, what I've already been a part of. I wasn't the main editor, but I sat there for two straight days and watched every outtake of Pumping Iron. Only me. Mm -hmm. And pulled exactly what I wanted. Created the fucking hype video, the sizzle reel. Helped create the footage that I knew had been used and hadn't been used. Sat down and wrote a fucking voiceover for Arnold helped bodybuilding.com put it together wrote the fucking program interviewed all was all my questions interviewing him like if i can fucking do that shit we should be able to fucking belaze <clears throat> this it's just what we're doing anyway yeah you know what i mean so it's like i i try to remember like <clears throat> and this is how life goes too like the things i've already done and executed i have to lean back on that type of confidence like man i already did this mm -hmm. This is like the most epic footage in bodybuilding history. I already, I already had possessed it and yeah. and had like a steward of it. You know what I mean? So like, why can't we go with our skills and go put together something that's fucking like legendary? Yeah. To me, I, I already fucking have seen what's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think these dudes was better than you guys that I worked with at bodybuilding.com? Nope. Get the fuck out of nope, here. Nope, they ain't dogs. No, they wasn't. How, how epic would it be if they reworked <clears throat> Pumping Iron and then re-released it like on Netflix in a series? Because like obviously there's a I lot think, more footage, right? Yeah, I think that – Um. so yeah, I mean I think eventually – there'll be more content like that. And I know he's working on some of Netflix now. I don't know what it is. But um, when I called the other day, they were going to a Netflix-specific yeah. shoot. Got so it. it's like, and Pumping Iron's already on there, locked. And so, yeah, this will only help, you know, once we execute to say, hey, we want to produce this next, you know, that has mm -hmm. X. So, I mean, it'll, you know, this it'll be, you yeah, know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm fucking pumped because we just need to capture what we already got. And Trey's already got a bazillion hours. It's like it. I think it's gonna be hard to fit it all in a couple hours. To be honest with you, that's gonna be the hardest. Dude, there's thing. so Cutting much. There's I can't so wait to much. like go through like all the clips and like really like pick out like the yeah. like these are like you yeah. know what I mean? like yeah. these are because the there's gonna be so many like good clips. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. honestly, I feel it. like it could be like a you know how Jackass does like the Jackass three point fives or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could definitely be more of those for sure. Time. Yeah, I think there's. I think there's. That's what I'm saying is we just need to show what we're capable of. I only need. I'm like eight mile, bro. We just need yeah. the one shot, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> exactly like eight mile. <laughs> just like eight mile. Yeah. The, wor the world is not ready. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no. Uh, this this little bad boy's coming down the down the pipeline. Danny helped uh, mm -hmm. fucking make me not sound like an idiot. It's a, uh, it's press a banger. Help. It's yeah. a banger. It's quick. What is it again? The little book. The little book of consistency. <laughs> By your boy Corey G. Throw your gym oh, bag. Yeah, yeah well, th this one will be out here soon. Probably, uh, we'll be making a big push for the other book probably when this comes out. So it's like, it, it, listen, here's one thing I'm going to say. So, the How to Build Confidence and Win at Life will be on Amazon, iTunes, everything. When you hear this, you might have already, you might have already got the book, but we need to push the online thing. I'm trying to, be, once again, once we're talking about fucking, you know, really pushing, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be on one of these bestseller fucking lists, bro. Yeah. So, like, if you've you've listened to the podcast, you've listened to Daily Fires, there's been any impact in your life from this content, this is when the ask is, hey, we need, we need you to buy it on one of these platforms and put it out. And we'll get all the dates and everything. But just remember, I said that to your ass. I need everyone to, like, support that so it can really get a chance. Yeah. Wait till you hear the audio book. The audio, the audio book, book is, plus uh, podcasts is, is unreal. It was a – my mom said, like, it was, like, an entirely different experience For from sure. reading the book. So you might have the book, but really you need to lunge to this thing because it's fucking mm – -hmm. I'm excited for people that don't listen to the podcast – to be forced to listen to it because of the yeah. audiobook to showcase what we really got going on here. So I'm pumped about the potential growth of the show from mm -hmm. it too. I mean, that could be epic, I think. Yeah. Will be epic. Yeah. yeah. For sure, Trey. Then don't, don't let me misspeak like that. Um, yeah. We're just fired up. Yeah. I mean, another thing I'm uh, thinking about too is just like with all the momentum you, we keep talking about with the, you know, this year, going into this year and onward and everything and obviously there's been like the drama and something that's mm. always stuck out to me was 
<laughs> then you run the other way, right? Every time. And then I, I don't think I've ever seen someone like really just kind of punt it to the side and never let it affect him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you just kind of just keep going. So yeah, I think it's. Have weird. you always been like that? <clears throat> yeah. So no, but I realized the hard cut is the only way to move on. So I realized that like, if I let it, so emotionally, no matter what it is, business, relationships, whatever, it's gonna talk to you a little bit. But you're and, human. Because <laughs> yeah. you're human, right? Even if you do unhuman things but or inhuman or you try to the point is though it's going to lessen and lessen the more you you give it power so if i give it power initially because i have to handle it i can't get it out of my mind it's just part of it but then the following day it probably drops by 50 Mm percent and then when i cut motherfuckers out of my life it drops by like 95 percent then it'll be a chirp but then it's literally gone in less than 10 days and then it, it but it hasn't even been on the front of my mind since like day three it's just kind of there but it's not really like any type of focus yeah and then literally it doesn't exist mm-hmm. it's because you cut it at the root i cut it at the root and then it's amazing because then i'm thankful yeah because i'm the last motherfucker you want to motivate it's that's, just, that's uh, what I, that, that's what i was getting to right there is because now I'm the, I'm the last one like more. you're just gonna make me better i'm yeah. the last person I, i've proven it time and time again that it's like, especially at this point in my career, it's really not about a dollar. I just want to fucking lift weights and showcase what I know and what we've created here and how great I think it can be. And if you give me extra motivation, which is not needed for me to be successful, but now it puts me into overdrive. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, that's like the only thing I, I I'll flip it the opposite way and use it because then I love this one. Damn this motherfucker again. I didn't, you know. <laughs> I Makes mean, it just, that much easier yeah. to get out of bed each so day, right? Easy, so easy, bro. Yeah. Well, because once again, like, I've already been tested. Mm-hmm. So this is like nothing new for me. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you guys were here for some of it, not for some of it. Once the last big test came through, bro, come on. Shit yeah. is like small time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. What's stuff you just laugh at Fuck at that yeah. point? It's laughable. Yeah. For sure. But I, it's needed. I'll tell you that. It is needed. Because I've always operated with a chip on my shoulder and whether in that's what I loved about MJ when he would talk about he was making shit up. Sometimes the shit wasn't even true. And so that's the thing is I can take something. It's just I only need a little piece of it, but then I can make it like, you know, so for me, it's like I think it's necessary. Yeah, yeah. it's good. At though. least to some extent. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's good for me. For that's some, why I look at it. Go, oh, OK, yeah. I needed that. That would be good for, for some me. people. Whenever this happens, they <clears throat> stop. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I feel like we're like some Limp biscuit motherfuckers where we just keep on rolling, baby. Yeah, yeah, No, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, do that. You yeah, like that one? You like that plug? That was, that was good. That was good. Well, I, I just think of the analogy you used with the freight train with, like, anabolic fasting. Like, if you yeah. keep throwing shit in front of the locomotive, it's yeah. going to slow you down. Well, and that's the thing is things are attempting to be thrown in front of my locomotive. But when you just, like, fucking literally are like. You're psh- going too fast. Yeah, bro, too fast. Too yeah. much momentum, too much dynamic speed. Wow. Like, big, big trace like, trace like trace speed. Like trace speed. Like trace speed. Like trace old speed. Now yeah. trade. <laughs> but <laughs> trace, dual, trace dual speed. Trace dual speed. Remember, yes. it's th- the three personas. Trace speed, Trayvon the air, and motherfucking Trayvon. Oh, that's a great place to take I just a wanna, little. I just want to say yeah. that he came up with that. I'm yeah. sure he did. I mean, I, did, I definitely didn't think you came up with it, Trey. Hey. All right, we're going to take a quick little break. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're at halftime of the Roundtable Podcast. We got Tyler Treadway here to talk about NSF certification, amino recovery, lemonade, which is the goat of amino recovery. Now, what can happen, Treadway? So now we are able to supply this to college teams, professional teams, high school athletes can take this with no worries that you're going to uh, fail a drug test or anything like that. I actually had a conversation with a prof- uh, professional athlete last weekend who said that he failed a drug test due to buying supplements at a box chain mm. company because they didn't have the NSF logo. So you can take our products with full transparency. Everything that we say is on the label is in there. Everything in here is safe for sport. They test this for 300 ingredients to make sure that you will not fail a drug test. Take the best tasting amino recovery lemonade. 
with full Damn. certainty. Oh wow, Treadway. Oh. One thing uh, he just cut a fucking yeah. Promo. So of course, uh, so hammer. of course we got the promo, but I want to talk about the swag. You know, I'm the graphic gangster. I'm making all the swag. I just think the lifestyle, the vibe, dude. You can give max effort and fucking style with this swag. That's facts. You can give max effort in anything, which is why all athletes love us, and you can feel safe taking the NSF lemonade. Strength coaches, people at the university, presidents of the university, call Treadway and get this set up for your athletes. All right. The Back president. To <laughs> <laughs> Back to the show. That was my, that was my takeaway. Yes. Yeah. We are back. What a great promo, Cole. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, we're really getting good. <laughs> yeah, big time. Big time. <laughs> I, you know, go ahead, please. Yeah, well, I was just I was just saying, you know, with the promos now, it's kind of like a new it like is like a night's a new like challenge, you it know. Is. There's some yeah. new obstacle. Cuz we planned it before yeah. he jumped on. He goes, he goes, "What am I going to say?" <laughs> <laughs> Cole's been doing promo yeah. since he was like 5 in the mirror yeah. probably. Dude, I keep saying WWE. I agree with the promo strategy of you need the intro music though. See, you were kind of hipping me to the WWE game and it was like yeah. the music sets the tone. It That's does. why Donnie Traps it has does. The, he has the, the bush yes, or whatever that's the fuck exactly it's called. It. Because, dude, it's really crazy. I really draw so much creative <laughs> thinking back to why I do things certain ways and yeah. why I pay attention to things. Sure. It's definitely because wrestling, literally within the first three seconds of the song, yeah. people get excited or people start booing immediately. That's true. They it's are one they the know other. exactly what they're getting. <laughs> and then and then and then uh, if you watch like the actual promos where the like wrestlers are talking to like the announcer or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are so fucking dramatic, dramatic about yeah. stuff. No. And like they feed off the crowd, like going back and watching the old rock promos. He's <laughs> definitely I fire you up. He's definitely my biggest inspiration because one, everything's off the cuff. Fuck yeah. So he's just r- like rattling off stuff. I'm he like, freestyled a lot of that stuff. Big time, big time. That's awesome. So then and then like uh like he could hear the crowd in the arena like mm-hmm. start to go off. So I'll pause like dramatically. <laughs> and, he'll, and he'll let it go and then he'll go back going That's so awesome. yeah I'm just I'm just preparing myself I think everything ties back to wrestling for you and everything ties back to rap music for me literally yeah, everything I would never guess big time yeah like you know mixtape tour I mean I'm on my mixtape tour I'm my third mixtape right now I'm gonna get that deal yeah. <laughs> shout out penguin yeah shout out yeah random penguin house holler at your boy like if the deal's right you know I might sign the it the deal's right <laughs> I'm on my indie grind right yeah. now yeah, but they're gonna but, tell you. They're gonna tell you you're just a fitness guy. Yeah, yeah, that's that could be further. But <laughs> I've been I, <laughs> I trapped in a fitness bottle. <laughs> yeah, but ahead, you know, along with wrestling, I've been, I've been really telling you that you need to look into it more because I know how much I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if we could cut promos WWE style and you get that vibe, well, are you asking me to be in your promo? It's literally game I, over. I will do it. It's game over. I I, I know. So I I tried to watch wrestling the other night, and it was like. <laughs> tried. <laughs> five chicks in lingerie basically like on a couch and they were and so Rachel walks in she's like the fuck are you watching <laughs> I'm like I'm doing research on how you know they market in the WWE so we watched it for a little while longer but then like the kids were coming down for dinner and shit and I was like yeah I should probably yeah. turn it, was, look, it looked like half porn but I mean I was still you know I was still getting some good yeah <laughs> and and I mean like if you if you think about it guys we are literally making our own wrestling universe for sure we have we have all the characters you no, know you're right Co- like your Corey g is just Corey g yeah, and there's yeah. some wrestlers who are just them it's yeah, just yeah. straight up me that's right me i've had i got three personas you i got do. donnie traps mr energy now cold dog <laughs> Cold dog, Danny. Your small arms. You're basically your life is really like changed. That, yeah. yeah, that just is head, your head persona. Only. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, your your life has really changed since you've uh, taken on the small arms uh, nation as the leader. <laughs> yes, and the, ge- the general. The general. I am the general. I mean, yes. you had it on your fucking badge at the uh, army, which makes <laughs> it really <laughs> <Yeah>. official. <laughs> so good. Like yeah. th- when I saw everybody's badges, I was cracking up and like. Jake's Jake's list was like this long. What R and R pipe CEO yeah, stuff? Yeah. He's like, I go, dude. This is what happens when you let uh, Danny Cole and Tyler C Lover make up titles. <laughs> Absolutely, <for people. laughs> we, yeah, we seized so the opportunity fu- there. It's so fucking yeah. good. And now with and now with Trayvon, whenever whenever like the world t- sees Trayvon mm-hmm. and how cutthroat killer he is, yeah, the, the personality is just going to it's going to go insane, dude. The world is literally not ready. Well, you're the one. Uh, Trey's the one that's spoken into like existence. He's like, I'm going to be on the forefront of something. I want to be in something that's new age. I want to be in it. I'm, I'll never forget. We got to pull that fucking clip because that's yeah. exactly what you guys are doing with the Web3 stuff. 
It's, it's unreal. Fun. It's fun. Yeah, we just launched the audio network. That's been yeah, a Yeah, how's that going so far? Well, I listened I mean, to the, skull, the first Skull session, even though yeah. I was Why in do you call room. it Skull session? Yeah. All right, so it's so Ohio State they have the skull sessions, and That's basically, what I basically, it's, that it, makes it, I should have known. But but, but basically, <laughs> it's like it's like a pregame like a uh, hype session, pep rally, yeah, 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 education okay. to get the people in the community. That's where the band and stuff comes yeah. in. Yeah, first. yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, right. but skull session is more than that. It's just not like Ohio State. Yeah, it's uh, the definition is actually like an athletic meeting okay. or like you know informational session. Ah. So I'm playing off that. See, it's all yeah, about the branding. no, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, why and I, then, I need to educate yeah. it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, everything I'm trying to tie back to sports. I really like that you're bringing them young kids in, bro. That's yeah. cool. It's really cool. It's really cool for them. Yeah, like now uh, we have a few in the bank. The latest episode we did with Bobby and Diego, yeah. shout out. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're crushing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so getting them to understand the content game and stuff like that. Well, and we forced Bobby to be on that Squat Every Day podcast, and he was nervous, yeah. but it was just talking about squats so he could get through it. <laughs> yeah. And now he's, like, coming in excited. Because, dude, where else yeah, are come, They, like, come in excited, like, with yeah, questions dude. asked. It's yeah, so cool. of course. Yeah. And it, one thing, like, it's been fun about that is is now it's, like, forcing me where basically I have to make content or it's, like, I'm getting pushed you, in that you role. You made a shift, for yeah, sure. because I'm getting pushed in that role because now if I don't talk about it, mm-hmm. nothing, no one, who's going to talk so about it? So now you understand yeah, me yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. more, yeah. like, wait, if G doesn't post or do stuff, no one knows about it. Yeah, so. Yeah, fuck, I'm glad you guys are on board. Now. Yeah, it's just levels. <laughs> hey, it's just levels, and now I'm starting uh, TikTok, I'm. I started. A, I'm on day two of TikTok. I love that. So just shriek. I'm gonna you know? blow up on TikTok too. I told all my nieces and nephews, you're "Fucking tough shit." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show up on your for you page. It's just what it is. Yeah. Your day one. Uncle was Uncle taste. Corey G's abs is back, baby. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So now my main priorities are Twitter and TikTok. Cole's day one was day 69 of his lunch streak. That's monumental day. He, hey, monumental. I just want to say. This was that designed to be that way? Of course it was. No, I, well, no, no, no. no. <laughs> well, well, actually, I want to see the confidence boost. Defend himself. I, I came up with the idea on day 68 because we've been talking about TikTok, about how we've been using it. I and, I say, so I and I immediately I thought you were going to say we've been talking about 69. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I haven't been in discussion with Andon. I have not. Yeah. I haven't. Jesus. Um, but yeah, but then we had the idea. I was on day sixty-eight, and I was thinking, like, man, I should start TikToking. Like, the cold dog, the world, naughty traps. They need to the see more world. of it. What a better day to start TikTok than on day sixty-nine, monumental day in, yeah. in the history of my lunch streak. Because I've never had, a, I've never really taken an account on a lunch streak. Yeah, so this they, is the longest you've ever done it. Oh uh, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, dude, for you're sure. definitely gonna get fucking bricks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, <laughs> lunging, <laughs> lunging my face off until the, the bricks, realization. until the bricks come out. Yeah. It's, it's like only a matter of time. Just how you know TikTok, these uh, documentaries, the NFT project, you. the supplements, yeah. the NSF, yeah. the small arms, yes. the arms army, yes. the yes. Corey G dog. The Trayvon Dier. Dog. <laughs> Listen, all of it is going to explode. And the, yeah, so I'm just really excited. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, yeah. there's a new segment we're going to start right now. It's called Danny Ask a Question. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this. <laughs> oh so God. Danny, it's your turn. I know that you came to me with this idea and you wanted to finish the podcast with it. So it's this new, <laughs> new, great, great um, kind of addition here to our podcast. It's called Danny Ask a Question. Oh, so Danny, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when did you think of that? <laughs> so Danny, I know that you've been really here. excited about this portion of the podcast. <laughs> you kind of had me convinced well, for a little bit. <laughs> there you go. He's, so, he's ready. so he's Danny, ready. you uh, you go ahead and take it away. Um, well, we'll start with you. Oh, great. Fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, That's our general. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yours truly. Um, well, I guess why are your arms so small to start? Man, well, here's the thing. Why are you so fixated on your abs? I'm fixated on my abs because that's where I get money at. Oh, hey, that's the answer. <laughs> that is the follow that up. is the follow answer. Up, the follow up is I'm not sure why your arms are so big because you do Olympic lifting, but <laughs> that's why it's such a funny nickname. Yeah. Yeah, but we did meet each other on a bicep workout. This is so true. I mean yeah. that I mean basically Danny came to old school and did preacher curls for an hour. Yeah. That's how we met. <laughs> an, an, an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I also want to address your le- your levels of confidence because it's really funny to observe you in your yeah, environment you can see it. because. Um, you have like you know sweatpants, Corey, and then you got <laughs> all the way up to Beater. Yeah, no, which the is Beater's uh, on. That, that's level. where you are right now. So let's definitely. talk about the spectrum. What? Oh yeah, no, I'm on like start the workout with a Beater, 
I looked at Cole. Cole didn't even do the warm up in his hoodie. He was already in the fucking, yeah. and then he was hitting a good light. You know, like Trey's catching a good <laughs> the light. Good light. And so, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it's real. It's real. Yeah, it's it's no, not. the good lighting. No, is real. I, I the good know light what you're is talking real. about. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, so I'm like, you know, I'm beater level within like the first five minutes, but then like. Here's the thing is, I haven't really had this. My muscle mass to ab ratio has been off for a little bit. So it feels good to feel like myself again because I really want to, like, move all these projects to an entirely different level. And I think if if I'm, you know, cooking with gas, it, de- it definitely doesn't hurt, right? So sure. I think that um, – I think you've seen – because we've been working together for so long now. You've seen so many different iterations of me. So it's like <laughs> – yeah. But you know what this one brings, so. Uh, yeah, I would say I would say so. <laughs> hey, you're doing really good with your segment. Okay, oh, the, my, my segment, yeah. Um, Tr- Trayvon, all right, you're the Web three Kanye, or yes, guru, whatever, Dog. all the above, yeah. right? So, what do you? It, it could be one thing, two things, three things, whatever. What are you most excited in the world of Web three right now? Hmm. I'm the probably the, the thing I'm most excited about is like to see how to see like how Web two brands essentially integrate into like mm. Web three. Meaning like yeah, I've been how, paying attention to that. Meaning too. like how does like Nike, you know what I mean? Like how does Nike like take that step into there and like actually like take like basically like take their brand to the next level in a sense? Because the reality is like as what you, see, you people see what happens. People saw what happened with like Web one with like Yahoo, mm-hmm. AOL, all that kind of shit. The reality is eventually that's gonna happen with like. Instagram, Facebook. Well, because Web 2 is basically like social media too, right? That's kind of the way they view it. Centralized social media. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. And so eventually though, the reality is that's going to go away though. Mm -hmm. So like where, where then do like these other Web 2 brands step into it at? Like for example, like where is Nike like still stand in there? And like how do they adapt into Web 3 and like continue to grow their brand? Or is that where somebody else can take it over? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and there's shifts in all industries that way at some point. Yeah, people. And not just, yeah. And so like not just Nike, but like that's across yeah. the board like with like i mean damn near like every like every brand do you see any like brands that are like super hesitant right now towards that or is it just kind of like adidas the is the one that jumped in quick right adidas yeah. is like probably like the big probably like if not the biggest because they bought yeah. a real one yeah right? mm-hmm. uh, well, yeah adidas has like board api clubs they have sand they have land and sandbox oh so they're buying up other yeah, they're, they have like uh, land and all that shit yeah I got it, and, okay. then Ni- and then nike obviously they bought out that rocket club yeah, that's what it was project. that's all i was thinking about yeah okay. nike bought that project mm-hmm. and then actually snoop dogg i don't know if you saw so you, you saw i'm assuming you guys saw that snoop dogg he owns death row records now yeah, yeah which is that. fucking which epic. is crazy yeah yeah so he, snoop dogg he's the death- only one that should own death row records. and so he yeah. said though that he's going to make death death row records like a web three like yeah. basically like music like industry brand hmm. and so he bought two uh rocket clone x's like four death row records hmm. like basically like death row records like as a business bought these two yeah, clone yeah. x's Hell and then they're yeah. gonna use them though to like fractionalize and like basically like, sell music so he's and all that on shit. it yeah damn i fuck with that i'd, I'd sign with death row uh, oh would you yeah <laughs> <laughs> they got one you so, first yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a wanted man, Trey. <laughs> Sorry, fo- one quick follow-up because now I'm thinking about NFT shit. So yeah. <laughs> um, for Nike, maybe, we'll use that as an example or whatever. What's your advice to Nike? Hmm. Being the fucking Kanye. Um, <laughs> all right, so my so my advice to like – What's your advice to Phil Knight? Yeah. So Amazing. my – so no, yeah, I, <laughs> I got av- I have yeah. advice, though. We'll send it to him. I got advice. So my <laughs> advice to like – to yeah, so like – any brands that are trying to do this that are like is just actually get involved yeah. into like web three. Like actually like go out there and try and like buy, sell, collect like NFTs, talk to people in the NFT community. Don't just don't just think that like coming into the NFT community NFT community is something that you can do just because you have money. Mm. Like actually like indulge yourself into it and like learn because like in the NFT community it's so since it's like decentralized, it's so easy to sniff out who are like the real and the fake people? Yeah, and you guys yeah. found that out when you were messing with Twitter a whole bunch. Yeah, for it's sure. like super easy to sniff it out. So like, if someone, I mean, if you like, if you come out, if you come out with some bullshit in like Web three, like you're gonna get called out. Yeah, and Fuck people are gonna that. remember. <coughs> I just want to go off this. I want to touch on this real quick. Is we can kind of combine it because it's yeah, gonna yeah. be similar. <coughs> so true. any any my advice for any brands is one, you do have to learn the actual how you buy and sell, what people are looking for. But don't think because you're Nike and you have so many people that you can just immediately just put together a project in a month and throw it out. Because you don't, like, I don't think anyone understands the long term potential of how it can either take your brand to another level or completely fuck up everything you've worked on for the last 50 years. Because that's what what I've been talking about. You was like, 
the NFT community, people are investing in, in this stuff, thinking about all this stuff. If you come out and you just basically don't take it serious, you'll get fucking exposed and your entire reputation you've built on and worked on could be ruined. If, Which is if, why I'm if taking you don't, my time. <laughs> if you don't do it right. Because I think the industry that is probably the most hesitant right now, but the, the most potential is there, is in gaming. Oh, like yeah. the first time yeah. 2K or Call of Duty or someone implements this, if they fuck it up, it could be every. It, it would be bad for Call of Duty. So period. that's why they're hesitant, though. It's because they're I'm, scared I'm, of fucking it up, or what? I'm just saying they're probably they're probably talking about it, but they're probably taking their time because they don't yeah. want to rush it out. Dude, right. And because just for the entire crypto industry in general, if someone big like that does launch a product and they fuck it up, and mass amount of people from outside who don't understand it get a bad taste, they'll never forget it, and then yeah, it's game over. Right, your death sentence. Yep. Yeah. You're doing a really good job with your segment. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. He Go prepared ahead. the questions. I know he did. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got me. <laughs> um, and then Cole kind of spin, uh, spinning <clears throat> off of that. Like, what are you excited for? Or what do you have on the agenda for 2022? <coughs> that Shit. You're, maybe that you're most excited. Because like, we talk all the time, like, there's like a billion irons in the fire. But, like, what are what's like maybe the one or two that, like, obviously the I NFT mean, stuff. But, like, anything else? There's, like, bricks. I mean, there's so many things to be excited about. So, I can't yeah. really point out one. But it's I, I just guess I'm excited to have all of them work together at the same exact time. Yeah. Because yeah. it's never been like that before. And like I said in the previous co- podcast, like this is like the first time where I feel like I'm like a fucking pro, basically. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. year like year four or five, kind of like a rookie in the vet. Mm-hmm. Now I get to like showcase, basically. Yeah. yeah. I think like the <clears throat> whenever there's so many quality things kind of going on and that could happen, it's just about being. In, a, in the game and being able to be continually creative and know that it, it, something's going to mature or all of them will mature at the same time or whatever mm-hmm. it is. That's one thing I picked up from um, Lil Wayne was on uh, I Am Athlete and they said like with an athlete you have look like Brandon Marshall was saying like you got your regular season playoffs Super Bowl you try to make a Pro Bowl you try to get to the Hall of Fame. So eventually that's just done right? You play 8-10 years whatever it happens or doesn't happen and so he was saying like Wayne you've been doing this for 28 years he signed when he was 11 he said he had a platinum album when he's 14 going to school Birdman's pulling him up he's like what is he pulling up and he's like everything shit you can't even pronounce he's pulling up in (laughs) 415's in the trunk like (laughs) yeah he said just the melee on the whole school you know he's like yeah I'm a hot boy at 14 (laughs) blah 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 I'm like damn that'd be so fucking sweet but anyway (laughs) so anyway but he said was I just don't stop because I just can't stop being creative. It's different than playing ball. Now, when the words quit coming into my mind, then maybe I'm done. But right now, I'm still calling, he like references assistant at 2 a.m. because I need to get in the studio because these bars just came into my head. So it's like it was interesting because he's like, I just don't stop playing until it stops playing. So it's not like a physical thing. It's a create. So I really thought about like, I know lifting might be like that for me one time. Maybe, I don't know. But the reality is until like the ideas or the excitement or the growth, like making something out of an idea and then it actually being in the world from the supplements to the NFTs to the site to whatever it is, is one of the coolest fucking things of all time. And someone can take part in that benefit from it. And so I identify with that part because I always talk about I can't sing and I can't draw, but I feel like a creative person because entrepreneurship is creativity at its finest. You're bringing a thought to a reality to then on top of it, maybe create a different life for yourself and your family. For sure. And so that I've really fucked with that part of the interview because that's how I feel. When somebody's like, oh, you did this too? I, I didn't try to do this. It just happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a, bi- you know it's a byproduct. It's a byproduct of like the daily stuff of how we operate. And so, I don't know. I thought it was a, it's a really good interview if you guys haven't watched it. I Am Athlete with Wayne. But he says a lot of that type of stuff. And the other thing I want to touch on I thought was really good was he talked about they, they had their own Patriot way. That yeah. basically Birdman and, and Slim was like, yo, this is what happens. We pick you up at six. We go to the studio every night. You got to do your fucking homework. I told your mom that I would take care of you. Like, he's like, yo, they made promises to our parents. We're going to be superstars. We're going to go make money. But we worked. And we worked in the ideas and the freedom that he gave them in the system for them all to grow up is the same shit he did with Nikki and Drake. It's the same shit where, like, you understand what it takes because you see it and you see it at a seven-figure level. 
you know, and then it's like, oh, okay, I know what it takes now. Am I signing up for that? And then now can everything grow together and there can be superstars all over the place? He explained it real well, man. It was, it was fucking juicy. That's, and kind, I was of, like, that's kind of like what we were talking about yesterday. I think outside. it's what we're doing yeah, here. I think so. A hundred percent. I yeah. mean, Drake, uh, yeah. Nikki, are you Nikki? Obviously. Uh, <laughs> I just might make more money than Drake. <laughs> anyway, the yeah. fact of the matter is that he just said like it's like a washing machine of like what people on they understand what it takes because Berman Slim showed it, Wayne blew it up, and then these other people that came in like mm-hmm. they you know they was ready to yeah. ride. It was really cool. So yeah, I know it's it's just really cool. I told you like the other day because I made like the the graphic and like stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I possess the ability to take an idea and literally think about it and create and something. Create and create it. I can literally do it myself. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's, that's got to be awesome. Cool. So, like, with the NFT project, I really do feel like this is art. Like, I, everything in my brain mm-hmm. has been put under this, and it's the ultimate creative thing and business thing combined. Yeah, it's cool. So, it's, it's been pretty fun. Well, and I remember um, thinking this similar thoughts, like, when I was trying to figure out if I was going to do the buyout for Max or if I was going to sell it or do whatever, and I was in packing sacks that day, and every product that I put in that bag, I have a story about how I got, you know, the formula, like how I changed it, how many times I went through that flavor, boom, why I like this formula over that. Like they, every one of these things have a, a story, and some of these formulas go back like 10 years deep. The mild changes with the science team at the current manufacturer, the mild changes in application. the ma- And I, I thought to myself, there's so much time invested in this and so much thought and application and real world like training. And it, it was like, and then eat on top of it to the flavor ideas. And I was going through and I was packing and I was like, there's no way I could be out of this thing. I got to give it a shot because I didn't put, this is the, this was like the end these four, some of these formulas were like what I know are that great. I know they taste so like when I went through it, that was like the craziest thing to me to think that the vanilla peanut butter, the way it's split with the protein, the 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 having that idea from that's a snack I eat at night because I like just vanilla ice cream and peanut butter on it. But then the protein's eight, eight, and eight, so it's all purpose. Like there's all these things that go into it, and I was like, and then that be can that can become something that someone else enjoys because of that process. Bro, it's it's wild, and you guys are gonna go through that same thing with the NFT project, you know. And I'm gonna enjoy seeing thousands of them sell. <laughs> Facts. If you allow them to be bought. That's a very hey. good point. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, follow us on Twitter yeah. and, and and show that you're interested. If you and allow you, them and, to be bought, and you might get a whitelist spot. There you go. It's fucking good, Danny. Great, <laughs> great job on your segment. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, this is a roundtable podcast. Yes, sir. Fucking share it with your friends. Give us yep. a five star review. We're gonna get serious out here. Go do um, some arms. Yeah, yeah, go do some arms. Uh, brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. I'm your boy Corey G Dog. at Small Arms Danny Dog. at Trey Speed Dog. and the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susack. We are out.